Hi everyone, so today we're going to look into creating this animation which is fairly simple but we're going to look into ways that we can develop this further after we create this so yeah, let's get into it First we're going to create a composition mine's 4x5, 1080 by 1350 25 frames per second and it can I think 10 seconds no 20 go for 20 seconds because we want to make a loop from this we're going to start off by creating some text I'm just going to put flowing movement size this up a little bit Alright, so now that we've got this here, we want to go to Animate, All Transform Properties, and we've got all the different properties, so Position, Scale, Skew, Rotation, Opacity, but we want to look at Position for this one. So, right now, this is doing nothing on the offset but if we keep that at zero and we put the position to 1200 and then we can see it's animating like that but we want to make it a lot smoother than this because at the moment when you put a keyframe at minus 100 to start with and then at 10 seconds I'm gonna put it at 100 so then this will loop But obviously this isn't interesting and we want to create a more interesting loop. So to do this, we go to the advanced settings, the shape, we'll turn it to smooth. So now we've changed it to smooth, it's looking like this, which is a lot smoother as you can see and it flows nicely. So what I'm going to do is put this here so it comes from off screen and then on onto screen we will have to move this up a bit to minus 1350 uh, or maybe just a bit lower 1340 Minus 1340 for that. So yeah, it's coming in like this and then it goes out. That's what we want. So yeah, once you've done this, then we copy up the piece of text, one to move it onto the top of the screen. So just off screen. But what we'll have to do is change the position of this. So as you can see now is minus 1340 and to flip this we'll just put it as 1340 instead of minus. And then we've got this flowing animation going on. What we're gonna do, we're gonna duplicate these two layers and then we're going to offset them so, so that we can create another sequence. So we want a continuous cycle of this animation, which is really nice. So I'm 
maybe five seconds, five seconds added each time. So the next one would be 10 seconds. We copy and paste both layers. And then once we've got this loop, we can literally go to press B for the beginning. So the timeline starts there. And then the end part would be here. And then you have a constant cycle going on. To make it longer, I'm just gonna put it at 15 seconds instead. The basics of this animation is complete. Now I'm gonna move on to show you how you can develop this further. So what we're gonna do is In this new composition, we're just going to drag in the animation that we created in that other composition. And I'm just going to cut this to where that where we need it. So it's the loop. Right, so it's 10 seconds at the moment. That's flowing nicely, okay. So, what we can do to develop this further, we can create an echo. Maybe 100. That's kind of a bit crazy. That's better. With this echo, we want it to be composite in front and yeah, stick to 25 echoes, I guess, for now. And maybe we shorten, shorten the echo time. To 0 0.010. Right now, if I cut it up, and it was here, the echo wouldn't start, but if we push it before this, then you can see it started then. And then when it gets to 10 seconds, it's looped nicely. And if you want to add more echoes, you can do. It's just up to you, really. This is quite cool. So yeah, the more echoes you do, the more interesting it gets as well. We can even develop this further if we want to. And instead of having an adjustment layer, we will use the echoes on the composition itself. So for the first one, we will have it as a white fill color. And then the second one, we will put it to red or something like that. And maybe up the echo time to 
0.015 maybe have this to 175 so you basically up the echoes and the decay and the echo time and it pretty much acts as a delay you can see the colors coming in and then for the next one you could do maybe mm, maybe a blue And we'll put the echo time to 0 0.02. Number of echoes 200. Decay can be 0 0.95. Oh, that's a lot. 0 0.92. No, I don't think that color works. Maybe that. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's another way you can develop this further. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to create this animation. I hope you got inspired from it and you're gonna create something similar. Please share whatever you do create and yeah, it would be interesting to see what you will come up with. But yeah, feel free to join the Discord as always and feel free to comment what you wanna see next. Have a good day and catch you later. Peace.